that old beaver. There's a beaver down the country that has had enough of me. And to put it very bluntly, I think I have had enough of he. He may be counting his lucky stars, hoping my time would just run out. Question is, will he be free to cut down trees and carry on his walkabout? I first saw this mighty rodent as I was crawling round a pond, trying to sneak upon some ducks that were swimming all round. He was standing by a big black spruce as he chiseled up and down, and as I watched I was amazed as this big old spruce hit the ground. I silently just scared him off, proceeded to have a look around. A brand new house was all laid out, constructed by the hen of the pond. But then he looked back at me as if to say, All oh, this place belongs to me. But as I grinned and moved away, I thought, You won't need every tree. Then once in a while, for the next few days, I dropped by, just for to see, how this old beaver was making out. Without fail, he'd always look at me. The season opens very soon, I whispered. And you are right there in my sight. I just hope the weather stays good, and that I do everything just right. The snow came down, the ponds all froze, and left me with a lot of doubt about how I would get to his house and how I would get that beaver out. The big day came, and I set out for that house, not wanting to just give in. The snow and the bog was to my knees. It was very hard for me to grin. I saw no sign of Chisel Face. He must have been snuggled down inside his house. Now what to do, I asked myself, as I just sat there as quiet as a mouse. A tangle of willows and black spruce, his winter's food, concealed his door. And the house, now after all the rain and snow, was far off from the shore. I tried my best to set my trap, but the hoot look appeared to be quite grim, and my chance of ever catching him was now appearing to be very slim. Then walking home through bog and snow, I concentrated on my plan, to trick this old beaver in some way, to get him up on the dry land. Then very soon it was back I goes, and was surprised at what I found. That old beaver had changed his house and was out roaming all around. Confronted now with a longer walk and more snow still on the way, I asked myself, should I just give it up or carry on for another day? I stopped and had some tea and lunch and sized everything all up. And then I said, old Mr. Beaver, as I bent down and washed my cup, you're much smarter than I thought you were, and this is your lucky day. But I'll be back again next year. Then I turned and slowly walked away.